Ooh, team, keep it clean. Um, my apologies, real quick. Sorry for the uh, the lowered quality for the videos that y'all been seeing recently. My normal camera it broke. How about that? Yeah. Um, it's funny. The, the the memory card it doesn't. It's not able to read the memory card. So I got to figure out a different way to do stuff. And just a quick little side note before we get into the video. Uh, I took it to Best Buy today. Cause I got it from Best Buy like years ago And I was like hey can y'all fix this I even got Total Tech and everything They said well okay um, whew, Your warranty just ran out Two years ago I said, Okay well it didn't, it didn't just ran out Don't tell me it just ran out if that was two years ago I didn't say that but I was just thinking that But anyway warranty ran out in 2021 I got the camera Oof, while back But anyway he said we can't fix it we can't fix it because what we would do, we would need to send it off and da da da, but it's not covered, so we can't fix it. Oh, okay, cool. He referred me to a place, and then I went to that place, and literally on the sign to the place that he referred me to, it says, if it powers on, we fix it. I'm like, okay, let's go, baby. I'm with it. What happens? <laughs> I take it in. It's me and Carter, by the way. We take it in. We say, hey, my camera, the memory card reader's not working. And they say, oh, uh, well, we can't fix that. You should probably contact the manufacturer. Okay, so why is your sign lying? Anyway, team, keep it clean. If this happens, then Ravens fans should be excited. Should be excited, should be happy, um, because this gives the Ravens a shot. It gives them not even necessarily a better shot, because they got, they got a shot now, but it opens up a lot of possibilities for them and it can make things a bit harder and a bit easier all at the same time what i mean when i say that the report came out today that uh, nfl teams think the cardinals will release wide receiver deandre hopkins uh and the report also mentions that the chiefs and patriots uh they are potential landing spots for him under certain conditions now with the chiefs uh, it was said that um if he went to the chiefs then he would have to take a big time pay cut so he wouldn't be able to make nearly as much money. But, hey, like, y people are looking at the Chiefs right now like they used to look at the Patriots back in the day. Um, because it's like, hey, you want to make more money elsewhere? Or do you want to go to a team that you know is going to be in the thick of things when it's time for that championship run? Uh, and then, in enough cases, for some players, they can do both. But with the Patriots specifically, like, the, that's what the Chiefs are looking like right now. A team where some players will be willing to take less in order to team up with Patrick Mahomes. And, hey, I'm, I'm going to go for it. So, DeAndre Hopkins, he would have that. He could have that, possibly have that motivation. Like, man, I done did everything. I've been known as one of the best receivers in the game. Um, I'm just missing the Super Bowl, man. That's all I'm missing. And if Chiefs got it done with Juju, McCole Hardman, who are both going now. Um, uh, MVS, if they got it done with them at receiver, imagine what they would pff, imagine what they would do with a Patrick Holmes and, and DeAndre. Ho Nasty, it would be filthy in a good way, but anyway, um. So the report mentioned the Chiefs and Patriots as potential landing spots for him under certain conditions. Um, Patriots has been said that they don't want to give up draft picks. It's been said. But then at the same time for him, yeah, it is Mac Jones. I, I, for, for DeAndre Hopkins, I don't really think he's worried about who the quarterback is in some cases because we've seen him get it done with whoever. We've seen that. But I think he would want to go to a situation uh, where he would have a, a good chance to make a big impact and just to straight up win to win um and with the chiefs he obviously could do that uh with the ravens uh it's, it's up in the air right now and again reason i say that is because we don't know who the quarterback is nobody knows who ravens quarterback is right now so we're just waiting on that but um w the reason i said that uh, ravens fans should really be excited uh and be happy if this goes down if deandre hopkins is released because it makes it easier and harder for the Ravens all at the same time to acquire a DeAndre Hopkins. Reason it makes it easier for them is because you don't have to uh, you don't have to trade assets, and you know you don't like uh, you don't have to trade any draft picks. You know Ravens don't like giving up draft picks in the first place, but you don't got to do that. If he's released, he's a, he's a free agent, so you ain't got to worry about no draft picks to give it. No, and then on top of that, you can come up with your own deal for DeAndre Hopkins. You ain't got to do all this restructure. Even though you could, you could make it work. 
But if he's released, you ain't got to worry about restructuring and doing this and doing that and going through all these loopholes and then that and void years and worried about dead money. And no, you ain't got to do all that because it would be a lot easier if he's just straight straight from free agency. It will make that part of everything so much easier. Now, on the flip side, it could also be harder. The reason it would be harder is because now he's not under contract. He wouldn't be under contract with the Cardinals. But then, just like it would be easier for the Baltimore Ravens, it would be easier for a lot of other teams too. And another team could, again, Ravens been, they've been going through this whole uh this uh, non-exclusive franchise tag masterclass. They've been going through that. They've been going through that. So when it comes to the offers, like a team could offer him something that the Ravens wouldn't be able to. They could do that if they structure it the right way. Um, but the Ravens also, and this is also a good thing. It's, a, it's both a good thing and a bad thing for the Ravens. Ravens, they could spend some money now. Again, the whole Darius Slay thing. It, I mean, we've been saying it for a long time. If, if there's a wheel, there's a way. We've been saying that for so long. But this whole Darius Slay thing, that cleared stuff up for a lot of people. Because a lot of people, they just saw that, oh, Ravens got like six, seven million cap space right now. Six, seven million cap space. So a lot of people tripping out. Oh, we can't do nothing. Oh, Lamar Jackson, he's holding us hostage. Lamar Jackson on that franchise tag. You should have accepted the deal, buddy. You should have took that deal Ravens gave you, buddy. So many people have been saying that. Without realizing that it's false. Lamar Jackson's franchise tag is not holding up the Ravens. If they want to do something, they will do it. Now, what I think, I think somebody got to like, be real slick with the Ravens. You got to play them. What I mean, they should say, hey, DeAndre Hopkins, he's decided to play cornerback this year. Or he's decided to play safety this year. He's decided to play linebacker, defensive end, defensive tackle. Tell the Ravens that DeAndre Hopkins has decided to play a defensive position, and I guarantee we'll get him. I guarantee we'll get him if, if that's the case. Now, you, you, you tell him, oh, DeAndre Hopkins, he's still a wide receiver. Ravens right? might be like, oh, um, <laughs> we'll check in on him and see. But, no, nah, I'm just messing around, though. But, hey, we'll see. We'll see. So, I mean, in order for this to even, those scenarios to even be seriously thought of, he had to be released first. So we got to wait and see what the Cardinals end up doing with that. So it's in their court. It's in his court. I mean, he could ask for his release. He's not going to be a Cardinal this year. Like straight up. He, he ain't going to be a Cardinal this year. So whether it's the Cardinals moving off of him for draft picks or it's the Cardinals releasing him. Now, one more thing. The Cardinals could be putting this out there because teams do this all the time. When they know it's a player that... They're not going to be keeping. They know it's a player that's not going to be on their team in the, the next year. They'll put it out there like, okay, we're getting ready to release him. Just to start really trying to get some last-minute offers. Some last-second offers just so they can get something rather than nothing. This happens all the time in the NFL. Teams do it so frequently. This could be that. They could be like, you know what? These teams ain't biting the way they, that we hoped that they were biting. Put it out. Put it out that we're going to release him. And then see that interest pick up. And we've seen it so many times. It's like, oh, well, okay, I guess the, uh, the, the Cardinals aren't releasing him. And Team X, is in, they trade him for DeAndre Hopkins. So this could be that. So we'll see. Um, we just got to keep being patient. And maybe, maybe this week, one of these three receiver dominoes will drop. DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham Jr., Cortland Sutton. And I'm sure somebody else will probably drop. But maybe this week, one of those three will definitely drop so us as Ravens fans, we could be like, all right, well, it ain't happening. Moving on. Or we could be like, hey, it went down. Wow, I'm shocked. But either way, we'll see how it goes. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. <laughs> Since we're working with a little, a little ghetto setup right now, we got to exit the videos a different way. Love y'all. So now I got to walk over here, press the power button, and then be like, we out.